Hey guys, this is Alex. Welcome to your fifth Java programming tutorial. Uh, if you look at the screen, you can tell that there's a couple things that have changed, and I'm going to go through them real quick with you. One is I got rid of all that mumbo jumbo at the bottom that says Alex, hi, eight, whatever. I got rid of all that because we don't need it anymore. What we're going to have is this one print line right here, and what I did is I made it to where it's going to say the value of blah equals blah. As you can see, you, I've already tested some stuff, and if you if you look at it right here, you can tell what we're about to get into. We're about to get into dividing numbers. Whenever you divide numbers, uh, you need to always set it as a double. And I'm just saying this because it's good practice. If it's set to integers, they're still going to work, but you're not going to be near as precise as you would be with doubles, and your numbers are going to be way off, and you're never going to have the right answer or you're almost never going to have the right answer. So what I did is I set the value of x to 1 and the value of y to 9. And what we're going to set answer right here to is going to be the value of x divided by y. And this is just going to divide x into y. This is going to always, this is going to come out 0 0.1111111, etc. But because we're using an integer, it's going to come out as only 0 because Integers do not have decimal places. So that's where I get into about doubles. What you need to do in order for this all to come out as a double, you need to set all the values of them to a double. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you the use of decimal places. So if you didn't notice already, you see that there's pluses in between each separator that I need in order to put a string that you create on the spot or a string that you put later on or an integer as we're putting here. Whenever we run this program this is going to come out exactly as you see it down here but we're going to run it again just so you know it hasn't changed. 1 divided by 9 equals 0 0.1111111. Basically there's, this is all I can say for dividing numbers always use a double. If you don't, you're going to get into a terrible habit of using integers and you're going to get very bad numbers and you do not want that, especially with programming. So that's something you definitely need to know. Another thing that I'm going to go over with you today in this tutorial is what we put after this plus sign right here. This can have multiple things. Basically, this is doing exactly what addition is doing. This is adding this string and after that string it's also adding this number adding this string, adding this number, adding this string, etc. And what we can do is we can apply that to the same way of doing a quick math formula inside of your print line. What we can do is we can do x divided by y. What this is going to do is it's going to run this and it's going to be x, which is right here, divided by y, which is right here, and actually I didn't mean to do x divided by 9, I meant to do x divided by y. And it's going to come out with the same thing. So let's run this again. And you can see nothing changed at the bottom. That's because what it's doing is it's doing this operation right here. And it's running that immediately. Because you're not going to be coming back to it unless you absolutely need to. In that, in that case, that's whenever we use the variable of answer. Um, you don't need to use it very much. And that's really all I have to say about this tutorial. I really need you all to practice how to do math. And it seems stupid. You've been taking math for probably quite a few years now, and you're kind of sick of it. But it is a necessity in computer programming. And you will learn that in the future whenever you start screwing up all over the place because you didn't know how to do math. One more thing before I go. If, if you don't remember what PEMDAS is, it's... Um, Let's put this in here, just so you know, PMDAS. What this is, is I'm just doing it this way. That way you're able to see like how you would actually write the code over and over. It's going to be, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Some of you have learned this or not. Some of you have. This is your basic order of operations. Um, this is just put into an easy way to remember it. There are other things you can use, but this is, there are other ways of remembering it that you can use, but this is really the main way I learned it. 
and we're going to put another system print line at the bottom. And P, which is parentheses, I don't know if I spelled it right, E, exponent, M, multiply, D, divide, A is add, and S is subtract. This is how it's going to come out whenever it's running it. It's just like you learn it in Algebra and Algebra 2, and you even use it in Geometry. Um, and you use it every math class following it. You need, to remo you need to remember your order of operations. So now that you know what this does, this is basically going to go in this order. Parentheses is going to come first, then it's going to be your exponent. Then it's going to be an order from left to right. It's going to multiply or divide, whichever one comes first. And then after multiplying or dividing all of them out, then it's going to add or subtract going from left to right. That was just a quick run through on your um, on how to use PEMDAS. And please excuse my dear Aunt Sally and what it actually comes out to. Um, this is all I have for this tutorial. Uh, have a good day. Subscribe. And definitely practice because we're about to get into some fun stuff here soon. And I'm going to be going through real programs and not just teaching you things left and right.